Good evening, everyone. It's me, Cullen, uh, back with another shave. Um, tonight, I am going to be using um, what may have taken over um, the world of lime. That's the best lime scent so far. Um, House of Mammoth Kryptonite. Um, I believe this is, I guess that's the Tusk base. I don't know. Um, I don't know if this is vegan tallow, uh, let's see, ingredients. Uh, so it's duck fat, beef tallow. Well, that explains why it takes so much water. Um, Hopefully I'll be able to handle this when it was ordered. I didn't realize that it has synthetic cooling agent in it. So um, usually I don't do good with um, real menthol. Um, I've had some stuff with the, the Coolada in it and it didn't bother me at all. So hopefully this won't either because I absolutely love the way this smells. Um, and then of course I have the matching Splishity Splash. And I'm so glad they finally are back to making splashes. I like the balms. All my balms don't have the pump. You had to buy them extra, which I didn't know. So that's really annoying. Um, and then bowl. Of course, I'm using my green Twin Pines Wood Turning Bowl to uh, match the soap there. Um, look at this lather. It is just... Look at that. This, this lather, I don't know if you can see the sheen on it, but it is just, I've never seen soap that just, um, I have just gently, you know, with the tips, just gently gone at it and added water and added water. Um, and I didn't really add originally a whole bunch of soap in this um start off with 10 mls of water and i believe i added another 25 mls of water so that's a total of 25 milliliters of water and that's a um, lot so i'm impressed by that that it didn't drown it out and honestly it could probably take more water um, if i wanted to see how thin i could get it before it drowns um, but I don't because that's a good lather and tonight for razor I'm using the alpha um, outlaw this is the standard plate and I have a third use feather in here which will be its last use and the surgery went good by the way on my squirt bottle the other night my pump broke on the other one so I was able to take the squirt nozzle off the good pump and put it on the other one that just shot like a squirt gun um, so that was a success so now i have a working mister again uh, well, let's get on with the shave uh, three minutes 45 seconds into it and Um, you know, lathering it, um, you don't smell any type of menthol or anything. I don't know if that's because it is, uh, the synthetic stuff. Now I could tell you as soon as I put it on my face, I am feeling, um, it, um, it doesn't feel like normal menthol, uh, normal menthol to me doesn't feel like cooling at all. It feels like um, burning. Um, but this so far smells really, really good. Um, and the cooling effect 
is is not bad so far. Um, sorry, the blade for a second looked like it almost had rust on it. Uh, let me adjust my camera there, it's a little high. There we go. Um, I'll be using this razor for the next couple nights. Um, you see a little uh, blood pop up there. I had a uh, pimple and it just took the end off. This is the standard plate on here. Um, So far, I am um, enjoying it. Um, so tomorrow, um, whatever blade I use will be a first use, um, but I could, I would imagine that if, if this feels this good with a third use feather, um, going to feel good with whatever gets put in it. I think tomorrow, I'm, what I'm going to do, what I generally do with um, um, quote-unquote aggressive razors um, is I put a mild blade in it to see how it does with a blade that I typically don't like. And if it still gives me a good shave with a bad blade, uh, then generally, um, for me, um, I know it's going to be a razor that is definitely going to be jamming in my den. Oh, uh, the um, the knot that's in this um, handle is a thirty millimeter. Cashmere and. Uh, the handle is a Colorado razor design, and I want to give Scott over there um, some props. Uh, because most of y'all um, don't realize 
because uh, you don't have calipers, but when you buy a brush um, or a handle, and it's a 26 millimeter, drilled for a 26 millimeter knob. That hole in it should be 27 to 28 millimeters to give the knot room to bloom. Um, a lot of brush makers drill it exactly 26 millimeters, um, which I do not understand. Um, it should always be drilled bigger um, to give your knot room to bloom. Um, and the edge at the top of the um, hole should be sanded and rounded off so it's smooth and not just sharp so that it can um, cut the hairs on your knot. Um, And Scott over at Colorado Razor Designs on Etsy does all those things. Um, his handles are very reasonably priced. Um, I caught myself there the other night. I keep catching it. Um, and if you want a certain color made in a pour. Um, reach out to him. Um, and he will try his best to um, make you what you're wanting. And if you're wondering, um, so far the, um, I keep wanting to call it culotta, but that's not what um, they call it. Um, isn't bothering my skin. It actually feels um, like cooling. It doesn't feel uh, like heat, um, like menthol um, makes my skin feel. And when I spray it with the mister, um, it feels like I am spraying just ice water on my face. It's the craziest thing. Um, but this scent is just, wow, it is, it is so good. Um,
I might have to have a showdown between it and Frankenlime to see which one, uh, which one is actually the, uh, Um, it's definitely not, um, sea spice lime is not the, uh, Lime scent of the year. It's very good. Um, but I think Frank and Lime and um, Open Range um, from 345 Soap was um, so much better. Yeah, three, uh, three uses is definitely past its, uh, its limit for me. Um, 
that I got to say. The outlaw, I have never felt knurling like this outside of the Rex. Um, excellent knurling. Um, I think you could cover your hands in grease and still shave with this razor. Uh, well, let me get all cleaned up and I'll be right back with you. Okay, we are back. Uh, let's go over what we used today for this amazing shave. <clears throat> I used my Twin Pines wood turning um, bowl here. Alpha Outlaw with a standard plate. I used my um, Colorado Razor Designs handle that um, I asked Scott if he could um, make it for me these colors and look at how that the green shimmers in there um, he did a fantastic job i love his um his wooden coin it's so different than everybody else's um but he did such a great job on this brush absolutely love it um and then we used um house of mammoth kryptonite absolute beautiful lime um, scent and um, this has the warning it contains WS23 which is a synthetic cooling agent which you can see there um, now um, I my skin cannot handle menthol so if you're like me and cannot handle menthol um, this did not bother my skin at all at first it just felt cool um, but it actually felt cold on the skin it never felt hot like menthol does to me and menthol actually makes my face red and leaves it all uh, red and uh, hivey and it actually feels like it burns and this just felt cold and every every time I used my mister in between um, lathers when the water hit it even though it's warm water, um, it felt like ice water. Um, it was the weirdest thing, but this is good stuff. Absolutely great. Um, but after my shave, I used warm water, cold water rinse to get the soap off. Then I used my um, witch hazel here. Then I used my fountain of youth elixir, which is my hyaluronic acid and face oils. And now for the splishity splash. And if you look in here, um, you can see all the little sea monkeys floating around at the bottom. See ya? They're like, no! See ya? They're like, avalanche, run! Uh, so you gotta make sure you give this a good shake. Cause a little tornado in there, see? And that's to get all the witch hazel and all the other oils in there incorporated. Uh, I don't know if this has alcohol. Yes, it does. <coughs> now, um, the cough there was because <coughs> it is lime um, it's so limey um, but with the lime that that I guess it's that synthetic cooling um, which on the face is so mild um, but when I breathed it in like that it opened up my nose so kudos to that um, which I wasn't expecting it so 
made me cough and I forgot what tomorrow's soap is. Um, tomorrow I plan on using this, the outlaw again, um, before I give my final thoughts on it. Um, so far I'm totally, totally um, enjoying it. But uh, thank you for tuning in tonight um, and joining me for another Plagic Shave. Um, and sorry, I thought I saw one of my missing knots. I have one knot that I can't find. It's not accounted for, and it's going to keep me up all night long um, until I find it, just because it's going to drive me bonkers. Um, but I have, uh, soap sets on the way, um, I can't remember the name of it now, um, cannot remember the name of it, um, but it's going to be good, it's five ounce soap. Um, I believe it's 4.2 ounce splash. It's being made by Ginger's Garden. Um, scent notes on it are coconut, cherry, sandalwood, tonka bean, and vanilla. Um, it's blended very well. It's very smooth and creamy. Um, it's not overly sweet. I know it sounds like it will be, but it's not. Um, I will have two sets left over out of the five sets I ordered. Um, if anybody wants one, um, they are $35 a set. Um, just, um, message me on Facebook Messenger. And, um, we'll get you one if I run out, um, I can order more, so just, uh, let me know, and take care, be safe, and God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow.